story. Okay. Okay. All right. Anyways, yeah, I'm I'm ready. Let's you ready? Rock and roll. Okay. So just um, yep. a little bit about your character, if you want to tell anything here. I mean, really, it's you know you're part of that darkening forest clan, or you was, um, and you'd been fighting demons and stuff like that, kind of holding them off uh, with your clan, and then goblins attacked and. Um, most of your clan died and the few remaining ones scattered about and, uh, you've kind of blocked that trauma off and, um, just trying to live your life for fun and travel along the sword coast. Um, you like to entertain, you make friends, hang out, maybe get up to some mischief. Does that sound about right? That's perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So we join Mellow Sound. On his travels along the Sword Coast this evening. Um, on a travel, you've actually been in Baldur's Gate for a while, which is a very popular city here on the Sword Coast. And you've traveled up to um, uh, Scornabel on, to get back on the coast, the, uh, the way, the trade way. You're wanting to go to Waterdeep up here, another very big city. You've heard about it, you've not been there before. And so uh, our story begins with you. Wait, were you, where'd you ping it again? Where am I trying to go? You're getting to go into Waterdeep. Okay, I was too zoomed in. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. And uh, so, yeah, our story begins with you on the road near the Reaching Woods here. Um, and as you're walking down the road, you can hear in the distance, it's getting darker, um, I'd say around 6 o'clock, so it'll be dusk soon. And you can hear along the side of the road on around the bend um, in the under the eaves of the forests some music and merrymaking and laughing and just sounds like a really good time up ahead yes so we will check that out <laughs> okay all right excellent so you uh around the corner and see a bunch of carts and wagons and people and they're dancing around the fire and laughing and playing music and having a great time um and uh they haven't spotted you yet let me change this up here okay <clears throat> So, are you going to go on into the camp and and see everybody? Say hello? Yeah, here, let me let this load first. Okay. Can you hear the music? Eli? Is it too loud? Hey, are you there? Yeah, yeah, sorry. I, yeah, I, I've got it fixed now. But anyway, so I should just be seeing a black square now? Um, hold on a second. So can you... Can you oh, no, no, I see it. I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. So uh, can you hear the music as well? Um, I, I think I cut that down earlier yeah crank that just a little bit we don't want it too loud where it's but it's gonna set the tone and the mood i don't i don't hear bit. anything yeah i don't hear anything oh man come on you gotta fix that <clears throat> what well, i cut it all the way up it's playing i can hear it Hit reconnect below where you change master music volume level and all that. You hear it now? You good? Like, see, it says now playing Vestinian Camp, but it's it's zero seconds out of 2.11. Really? Hold on just a second, I'll fix it. Yeah, 
There we go. All right, there we go. Cool. <clears throat> All right. So yeah, they haven't noticed you yet. Um, they're pretty good ways off the path. They're, like I said, at the end of the eaves of the trees in the forest, so they're near the forest here, and they just look like they're having a great time. Uh, you can kind of get a. Uh, they look very uh, gypsyish, I guess would be the best way to to you know phrase it. Um, dancing and having fun, making music. Yeah, um, hmm, so I, I guess walk up to that guy closest to me and kind of introduce myself in a non-threatening manner. Cool, all right, so as you kind of come up to uh, to the fire lot and the camp lot and them dancing, they notice you and this gentleman here uh, kind of waves at you and says, Hail, traveler, welcome to a Vistani camp. You'll have more fun here than you've had in anywhere else along the Sword Coast. I can promise you that. Come join. Sit by the fire. Okay, sounds awesome. Awesome. All right. So you come on in. They're telling stories. Uh, people are laughing. There's dancing. Uh, music being played. Um, and at that time, the gentleman who waved you over, he introduces himself. I am Grigori Ashkali. I am the leader of this caravan, and it's so good to meet you. I can't help but notice you have a musical instrument there. Do you play? I dabble. I dabble. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. We love music, we Vistani. In fact, my lovely daughter, Isabella, is the best, best bard you've ever heard in your entire life. Oh, really? What does she play? She plays many instruments, but the dulcimer is her chosen. Oh, I too have a love of the dulcimer. Oh, excellent. Well, we'd love for you two to play us some music, and uh, we'll just determine just how good you are. Uh, what was your name again, sir? Um, it's Mello. Mello, what a beautiful name and very fitting for our atmosphere here, I think. Isabella, come here. And this woman walks over to you. She's got a dulcimer uh, on her side. And she introduces herself to you, Isabella. Um, a Bolshevik. And uh, she invites you up onto the stage over here. Okay, yeah, let's go. All right, awesome. Okay, so I have designed this. And you notice as you get up there, kind of everybody creeping in. They love to hear Isabella and they're... They're very curious to hear your music as well. Um, and I've designed this a little differently. So this is going to be like a little encounter for you. Um, it'll be basically you fighting her. Um, but your hit points will be your charisma score. And you will be using performance as your attacks. So it's not really a fight. You guys are having a great time. But we're going to have a, a little mini combat that's not really combat here. So on your turn, you can take two actions. The, the, like your move action is perform. So you'll just do a performance roll. She'll do a performance roll. Whoever gets higher uh, would deal damage to the other one's charisma, you know. And um, if you actually beat your opponent, you're going to get a resource called uh, the audience approval. All right. And you can spend your audience approval on any action on your second action on your turn. You can... You can encourage the audience to kind of heckle the opponent, and it'll give them disadvantage on their rolls for three turns. That takes two audience approval to do that. So I'll put it in chat here. Here's your actions. The other one is, is you can kind of diss track your opponent, you know, maybe a little picking at them or anything. It gives them a minus five to their roll the next turn. And then your final action you can take, you get to pick one of these, remember, is you can gather your thoughts with a long solo. It'll heal your charisma a little bit if you're, if you're getting down. And then the final action, it doesn't cost anything. You play to the audience, and that'll give you more audience approval that you can spend to do these other things. Okay. Sound good? Yeah, sounds good. Let's give it a shot. All right, so Isabella... Starts up here. I'm going to cut this down a little bit. Alright. And she is going to 
the starter song. Let's roll a performance out of her. And then you hit one yourself. <clears throat> so Isabella gets up here and she's clearly a little nervous. I think just, you know, she's not used to being challenged and everything like that. So her performance comes out a little rough to start. I mean, it's it's like Kirk Hammett out here. It's beautiful. The crowd's going wild. So on that, you do five points of charisma damage to her. All right. And then you will get a one audience approval. So you can spin that or you can play to the audience to get some more. Whatever you want to do. We'll play to the audience. All right, so do another performance, or no, uh, yeah, another performance. Very nice. So you're going to get two more audience approvals, so you have three now. So... You're playing to the audience, and you're getting them into it. I mean, you can describe this, or I'm more than happy to, but it's up to you. Yeah, so uh, I'm pumping up the audience. I'm like, she's doing a great job. Um, <laughs> God dang it. Um, I don't want to be mean here. No, you don't have to be. You're just getting them fired up. Everything's great. You're having fun. You're work hey, we're going to go to round two right now. I just didn't know if you wanted to describe that pumping them up. All right. One, once again, performance versus each other. Here we go. Oh, she's getting her feet under her a little bit now. Oh, oh no. Oh, so, no. So Isabella, you know, the audience is getting into it, and she sees all the love that, you know, they're giving you, and she starts, it's even more beautiful. Here we go. And then her sweet, soothing voice goes out over the crowd. And in the face of it, you're like, oh, my God, you can't take your eyes off of Isabella. And you, you, you actually break one of your strings right there. Oh, no, terrible. So you're going to take... Um, Let's see how bad she beat you by nine. You're going to take three points of charisma damage. So if you'd like, I'll keep up with that, or you can put it in, in a note somewhere on your guy. Yeah, I can keep up with it. I've got my thing right here. All right. All right, so now All right. you get to use one of your actions. You can. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna get them to heckle her. I'm gonna be like, see that? She made me break a string. Like, <laughs> what is this girl? I mean, she is attractive, but <laughs> she got. That it. was that was cheating. All right, you're down to one audience approval. All right, round three. Here we go. She's finding her groove now. Uh, she gets with them kind of turning on her a little bit because they're very approving of what you've done. Uh, or no. Let's see. She has disadvantage. All right, here we go. Ooh. Poor Isabella. Ah, okay. So Isabella's playing over here, and the audience kind of turns on her a little bit. You know, it's still all in good fun, and everybody's clapping and, and having a great time. But, you know, she can tell that they're, they're a little bit more focused on you right now. And it kind of messes her up a little bit. And so she's going to take a little bit of damage here. All right, you have one audience approval. What would you like to do? I have two, right? I had three and I used two, correct? Yep, so you got one left. I've been typing it in chat every time. Then. Oh, okay, I got you. Oh, I got it, yeah. Oh, actually, whenever she beats you on performance, that takes that gives audience approval back to her. It takes away from you, so you're actually at zero. Oh. Okay. So, I will play. I will... See, guys, I've got this. Yeah. As long as I don't look at her. Like... <laughs> yeah, um, performance. I'm out here jamming. I'm just vibing. <laughs> it's a close battle. Roll your performance. See if the hell you if you get the audience on your side here. Oh, you're back into it. You're trying not to focus on her and her sweet sounds. And she leaves off. You know, she's got a she's got a nice little rhythm going and. 
she leaves off and kind of gives it to you and you start right back up and the audience is getting into it and uh, two audience approval for that one good sir all right let's spot she's still got disadvantage she's still a little upset so. oh oh but it doesn't matter so she is a little upset but it's also your kind of performance is ailing a little bit here too and so she's going to do one point of charisma damage to you sir all right i'm like come on guys this is awesome i've never met y'all this is fun i'm hanging out does anybody have any song requests like wait what do y'all like to hear nice nice all right, so you gonna play to the audience, or you gonna you gonna get them to? We don't have to say diss track. I just trying to think of ways that where you could do this, because I understand we're trying yeah. to be friendly too. So maybe kind of like we'll say it's like confuddle them with a sweet movement that maybe they've not seen or something, you know? Okay. <laughs> what if I yell to the crowd? What's everybody drinking? And if I could get a drink. I could. I don't know. Awesome. I love show it. Show you a technique you've not used before. Okay. Or seen before. Awesome. All right. So they they get into it at that. And they're like, get this man some ale. And, and out comes this guy up here with a big mug of ale. It's frothy and splashing everywhere. And he kind of lifts it up to you and you take it. And I'll let you describe down in it or whatever. Yeah. So. As I grab the L, oh god dang it! Um, I, I'm trying to look at the map. So I use my claws and I climb up onto the stage. Oh, and I, and I chug my L. Nice. And then I let a sweet rift go from my dulcimer. Perfect. So you climb up. Ja! <laughs> okay, cool. All right. I'll give you advantage on your next performance battle here then. We'll, we'll call that. All right. So remember you toggle on the advantage. Or you can do it that way too. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Right, that's fine. Oh. Oh. So oh, even, God. even with her disadvantage. So she's done with the disadvantage now. Even with that. Um, and you're awesome, you know, thing. The crowd starts going back her way. She really is letting it out now. And, and she's singing a song um, that's very upbeat and happy. And it's about the Vistani, our people. So, you know, they're kind of swaying back more towards her. You're going to take three points of charisma damage and lose one audience approval. So you're down to one. How are you doing on charisma? I don't even know. Uh, I'm at nine. Um, so I'm up on stage still, and I'm like, "Yeah, we'll put you up here." Even can I do a like a knowledge check about the Visconti? Oh, smart. Yeah, go ahead. See if you can recall any stories or tales mm -hmm. that might. You might be able to make a song. What I hit there, history? Let's do history. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you rack in your brain after her, just she's clearly playing just to the audience specifically. And you yeah. you remember a tale of a Vistani, a gypsy, who um, was going to be uh, married off to this really wealthy landowner. He was basically going to buy her, and she didn't want to with this young charming Vistani prince you know come and he saves her from the the evil tyrant that only cared about money and and her beauty and that's an old Vistani tale you remember so you, you're gonna you might can make a song with that All right and so I come out on the stage and I'm like I am not you people and I don't know your ways but I have heard the tale of when this young prince saved this young lady from the treachery and tyranny of this old guy. So let me freestyle a song in her and his honor. 
Beautiful. All right. Perfect. All right. Keep advantage for this roll, then. I'm going to give you one audience approval for that, too. All right. Roll with the advantage. I did. Oh, a tie. Just beautiful. So she's... <laughs> You, they're they're into it with you, and then but she comes back and she knows that, of course, you know she knows that, and so almost it's beautiful. It's not even that you guys are warring with each other anymore. You're making up a song on the spot about this treasured Vistani tale. That's it's a duet. You've almost taken over the prince's lines, and she just swoops right in, just right in time with you, and's taking up the princess's lines, and it's actually beautiful music that's being made. I mean, everyone is happy right now. All right, you have an action if you'd like to take it. Play to the audience. No, I'm just going to play to the audience. Okay. Um, yeah. Remember, you can gather your thoughts with a long solo, too. Oh, I rolled advantage still, but you can take my lower. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. You get three, th th three audience approvals, so now you have five, so... You are, how about we change the gather your thoughts to, for every audience approval that you spend, you heal that much. Okay, so you gather your thoughts, or no, you uh, you play this to the audience and you guys are making this duet and then you finish it and here we go, next round. I'm like, hey guys, I need another L <laughs> while I gather my thoughts. Oh, nice. We'll and let her take the lead. In the distance you see Someone smoking on a little pot, too, that's just, I mean, it could be uh, any number of things there. And uh, he runs up and offers it to you there. Like, why not? This is a great time. <laughs> okay. What do we have to lose? All right. All right. Sweet. So it's, it's, it's very akin to the THC in our world. So it's not any bad things are happening to you. You're, you're feeling a little more mellow and in the groove after hitting it. So... Uh, I'm gonna let you have advantage one more time, just because you're you're keeping ways to keep them on their toes. Let's roll. All right. So after that, you know your mind expands a little bit. You think a little more uh, intricate thoughts regarding the strings and things like that, and uh, you're able to really get the audience coming towards you here and and really swell so let's see how much you did here three all right now you've got an action and how many point how many points do i have you have five six Wait, I didn't gather my thoughts with all of those? No, you, you used it to play to the audience. You haven't you haven't used it to gather your thoughts yet, but you can if you want. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, can someone please bring me an L so I can gather my thoughts? <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, and hey. I will I will use four action points. Nice. All right. All right, so now you're back in the right mindset. So here we go. Performance again. Normal performance versus normal performance. Ooh, and the hey, music. I didn't know it's still advantage. I know, but I'm it's sorry. gorgeous music being played by both of you. I mean, you've invented this whole new yeah. song that the Vistani is going to love, and you guys are having a great time. Now you're almost playing back to back. You know, she's climbed yeah. up. Somebody brought her a, a barrel, and she got up there with you, and the fire's dancing, and the sun's down now. So it's silhouettes dancing and laughing and clapping, and um, really, really playing amazing all right so you can tell though she's getting a little tired this the songs are about to end so we need a big finale here <sighs> um i announced to, who else here has an instrument let's all get on the stage and let's all play together to end this Great music. I've never heard such awesome collaboration. Beautiful. Let's all get up here and have fun. 
All right, and this lady walks forward, and she's got some tambourines, and they're shaking. This guy's kind of hitting on his little drum over here beside him, like a little bongo type thing. This big fella over here gets his flute out and flows it in, and you two are just, and it's just beautiful, beautiful music. Final performance rolls. Here we go. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> just, just ends it beautifully. Isabella Mello up on this, up on top of the caravan here. The lights, the music, the food, the drinking, the smoking, the singing, just amazing. And uh, you guys finish up, and everybody just bursts into clapping, and and just are very happy to uh, to have you in their group here. All right. There you go. So, now we're all sitting around the fire. It's getting later. It's about 8 p.m., 9 p.m. now. Um, and as you kind of look around, and you're just happy. This is a great time for you. And you can see the Vistani, and the, you're getting to know all of them by name. Uh, you know, I Isabella has been talking to you, and, and you've been learning a lot about the Vistani, how they're traveling, travelers. Uh, she even mentioned someone named Madame Eva, which you might want to write down somewhere. Or any of this, really. I mean, just any notes you might want to take. Yeah, I've got a notebook. Okay, so Madame Eva, she mentions as kind of the the, the mother of all Vistani, and that they love to travel and uh, make merry and have people join them. Um, and so they're around the fire here, and you notice uh, one guy over here. He's got a uh, a little th object. And he keeps, he's just sitting over by the fire, kind of a little away, but not too far. And he's throwing this, this object and it, it flies out into the air and then whew, comes back to him and he catches it. And he's just doing that, kind of having fun. Everybody's having a great time. Um, and if you look at it closely, you know, roll a perception. Okay, so you, you notice it's a little acorn. He's throwing a little acorn, and it's come back. I mean, there's just magic in the air here uh, around these guys and, and with the merrymaking and laughing. And, and everybody's sitting around the fire now and just talking and telling tales and um, uh, having a great time. And so Grigori asks you, um, you know, where are you going? What brings you uh, along the road? I'm just a free spirit, man. <laughs> traveling wherever I want, like doing whatever I want. I heard the music, decided to come hang out. Well, you are an honorary Vistani as far as I am concerned, my friend. This is amazing evening we have had and tales will be told of the songs you and my lovely Isabella has prepared. <clears throat> and uh, at this point, this old man comes up to you and uh, he introduces himself as a Car a Carl, Carl Betikos, and uh, you know he's been a Vistani in this troop for a long time now, and uh, he says a free spirit is so important in this world. A free spirit is so important in this world of sorrow and tragedy. You have to enjoy the small things. Um, they ask about your clan, and he asks about your clan. Yeah, well, I mean, a, we lived in a forest, and it was great, but we constantly had to battle with demons. They know we... Since I was born and since my ancestors were born, they have always been there, and we were almost on the brink, and then the goblins came, and we just they took over we had to scatter and i ended up here on the shattered coast i don't know how many of my clans still remain um we, but i'm just trying to make the most of it i'm not going to take a day of life for granted we know all too well about demons they are some that have haunted us as well but Hearing of your clan brings great trouble to my heart. If you would like, I have something I could show you that may or may not help. 
Yeah, of course. Okay, and he gets up from the fire and leads you over here to the woods. And everybody else kind of follows along. Um, the Vistani are never solemn people. Well, that you know of. That you know, I mean, based on what you've seen, they're very happy people. But they're and they're still happy. But there is an air of solemnity hanging over everything. This is a this is something that seems to be maybe an honor, um, or who knows. But it definitely seems a serious matter for the Vistani. And uh, out of the back of his cart here, he gets a a jug, and he fills a cup with it, and he says, "Drink this." What is it? It will show you things you need to see. Well, heck, why not? <laughs> I love it. That's very mellow. All right. So you, you, you down this liquid and you feel like tingling all throughout your body and then a, a kind of a head rush and everything around you is, is kind of woozy and then you see, uh, you see uh, Isabella and you see Gregory and you see Carl and these people and their faces are normal, they're fine, but they are staring at you kind of intently and then... Uh, you kind of get your wits back about you, and you, you are still a little loopy, but not terribly. And uh, Carl says he lifts a tree branch, and there's a little path, a small road into the forest. And he says, you must walk this path. It will take you to a place. Okay. Okay. All right. So you're going to follow the Sounds path. Fun. Right. I had a sweet. Yeah, I I'll a, follow it. I had a sweet Star Wars line planned there. You was gonna say if you if you were to say, uh, what's what's there or what's down there or something. I was gonna do the Yoda only what you take with you. <laughs> so all right, here we go down the path. <laughs> right. Yes. <laughs> no. All right. Nope, are you there? Nope. There you are. Can you hear me? Yeah, hey. Alright, you ready? Yeah, yeah, I hear you good. Okay. Alright, so you go Yeah, down. yeah, and all I was saying is the only reason I didn't question the path is because... It was so late in the night that I wouldn't have been questioning things anyway. Yeah. It's like, hey, yeah, this is yeah. great. I took the drink. Yeah. When we go on the path, let's go on the path. Yeah. What I got to lose. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. You've, you've, you've already drank, smoked, drank something else. You've, you know. All right. So, uh, as you walk down this path, um, and behind you, you can't help but notice that it, the path's almost leaving behind you. It's, it's not, it's not staying there, and, and it, there's no path behind you anymore. But you can, I'm assuming you'll continue to oh, walk no. down it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll just keep walking. Why not? All right. And you come to this uh, iron gate, and um, it's got an opening for the path. And behind it, you can see what a really on little hills, uh, sparse grass, and little tombstones just dotting the landscape up there. Okay, yeah, let's uh, proceed into the cemetery. Okay. All right. So as you're walking through the cemetery, um, roll a perception check. Oh, for some reason, wait, here. Oh, there we go. For some reason, I was back in my character mancer or whatever. Okay, perception. Go. Oh. <laughs> so you don't notice, oh, no. <laughs> you don't notice anything, and you continue walking around. 
and what's your passive perception? I've got it right down here. Okay. All right. And so you notice on a tombstone, a um, something that kind of chills you to the bone, written in letters, is mellow sound of the darkening forest clan and the date of death is the very year that we're in right now hmm and it's it's one of five tombstones side by side right here <laughs> yeah let's look at the other ones all right on the other tombstones you see the words or the names valandris gertok okay Okay. Onda. And Aaron. All with the same year of death. Hmm. Okay. All right. As you kind of are just shocked by this revelation, um, out of the grave rises this smoke, and it coalesces together and hovers over you <clears throat> kind of try to move out from underneath it yep yep as you take a kind of a step back a booming voice calls out mellow sound you have lived your life after your trauma carefree and apathetic attempting to put the devastation of the darkening forest clan behind you but a time will come that you will need to care again, or all who depend upon you will be lost. Mischief and merrymaking are enriching, but certain responsibilities cannot be shirked. Learn the lesson before it is too late. Seek the brute, the one born of storms, the one of earth, and the angel. And know that all merrymakers are not all as they seem. I'll let you finish writing. Do you have a shot? <clears throat> a what? Did, and I'm going to ask him if he has anything to drink. <laughs> okay. With an explosion, the fog engulfs you. And you poof, black out, and you awaken back in the Vistani caravan clearing. But no carts or people are anywhere to be seen. All right, so I get get up, look around. I'm at the campsite. There's nobody around. Nobody. And uh, and and you notice a dense fog. It's not it's well. It's midnight at this point, and this dense fog is just all around you. Um, and if you're gonna look around, go ahead and make a perception check. Toggle on normal. I have I have normal toggled on. Hmm. I don't That's know why it keeps doing those. Okay. Well, Here, it, I'm just going to do another one just to make sure. Like. There you go. Okay. Okay, you got it. All right, in the in the dirt um, where the carts have rolled off and squished down in the dirt, you notice that little acorn on the ground, as well as a ring. Of course, yes, I'll go over there and collect those. Okay. Sure. And then, uh, you know, you've got them. Do they have anything on them? Like, so. Does he footprints like do i see any traces of the caravan like which direction they went it's very hard to tell in the fog especially as it keeps getting closer and you can't even you can't you don't even know where the road is at this point with with how far in it's getting i mean really the the you can see the trees from the forest and the, the little it's getting worse and worse by the second. I mean, there's no chance of finding a trail uh, uh, that, and, and following them. If go ahead and make a survival, and let's see. You might. I mean, who knows? You get a big roll here. Okay. 
So you, 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 the best guess you can do, and it's kind of perplexing you, and you gotta, you, you're like, there's no way this is right, but it looks like the caravan rolled into the forest. Hmm. Okay. Um. And then did you, did you say you wanted to examine the magic item, or the items? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I want to look at the acorn and the ring. Okay, so the acorn is not adorned at all. It looks like a normal, everyday acorn. And the ring has like a circle and some dotted lines on the inside of it, all the way around it to about halfway, and then another circle. So it's like two circles and then some dotted lines around the inside of the ring. But other than that, it's fairly unadorned. It's a silver ring with a, a red ruby uh, on it. Okay, well, I'll put them in my pocket and... I mean, it's midnight. I'm not going to set up camp here, so I might as well follow the direction of the caravan. Okay. So you're going into the woods, and the fog is stifling at this point. Uh, you're lucky to see straight ahead of you almost. Uh, you see these giant trees as you walk into the woods. And then in the distance, uh, you hear uh, uh, the crying of children, like a child crying, calling out. And that will do it for your session zero. Okay. Leave you with the cliffy. Oh no. <laughs> it's already coming up. <laughs> <laughs> so you met some interesting characters, got to role play a little bit, some bard battle, and then a little graveyard experience, so um and then back to the caravan isabella mm -hmm. the chick i play with also plays dulcimer correct yep and then what was her dad's name uh gregory g-r-i-g-o-r-i -R -I, gregory Hmm. Okay, yeah. All right, cool. All right, I'm excited. I'm excited. You've got your... Yeah, that was fun. Got you some cool stuff there. You, you're not sure exactly yet, but we'll get to that. And uh, that, hit, that puts you closer than you know to everyone else. <laughs>